Hey guys. I feel so cheesy when I do that, but like I do that in real life, so maybe I am just cheesy. So um I've been off, I fell off. It's not even that I fell off. Let me not even say words like that into my life because that's not what we're doing. So um I was sick. I went to hospital. I actually had to go to access an emergency because um, just health issues. I did not have coronavirus, no. Um, it was like, well, I might even have surgery to get this um, sorted out. So I might as well just tell you guys in it. So I had a cyst growing in my right chest. So, um, I've had it before. It's like a blood clot sort of thing what grows in your breast. Like, you know, sometimes I've had surgery, a few times I've had surgery to actually cut it out. So, and I had to get stitches. Sometimes they just drain it. Sometimes, I don't know, they do different procedures anyways to get rid of it. But, um, this is like the fourth time I've had it now. So I'm actually thinking to have surgery to cut it off, cut off my breast and then just get fake ones. Like I naturally have big chest anyways. So if I was gonna get a um, breast implants, it would just be because that my breast before kept getting um, cysts in it or like blood clots, whatever they call it. So that would be the reason if I do decide in the future to do a surgery then it will be because of my breasts and um yeah i was on a lot of medication i'm still on um some medication now but um the medication makes me feel drowsy and um sleepy when i take it so i've not been recording at all because i've been taking my medication the only reason why i'm recording now is because i went to get my nails done and um when i came back i thought let me just quickly record something before i take my medication and just be stuck in my bed so yeah so yeah so um what are we speaking about today do you want to know i know you want to know but before i tell you i need you to like and subscribe i need you to share i need you to follow like come on what's going on just because you're not seeing this beautiful face don't forget about me don't forget about me <laughs> yeah but seriously like subscribe and share do that now before i tell you what i'm about to tell you because what i'm about to tell you guys you need it in your life you need it to prosper in life well i'm about the information i have it will make you blow the information i have that i want to share with you right now <laughs> You see the people, <laughs> the people down the road who live down the road from you. They will say, ah, "What's happened to this person? Why they? Why they just smile? Why they just see so peaceful in their life? Like what's going on? It's the information I'm gonna tell you now. Listen, <laughs> have you not done it yet? Seriously. Okay, cool. So um, I'm gonna tell you guys how to get wifey i'm going to teach you guys how to get wifey because a lot of you girls are side chicks yeah you're still not wifey yet and it's like huh how come how come like he's not wifey me and i've been beating him for how many months like yeah because you, that's your issue you're, you're you're being a professional side chick and you don't know how to come off it this information right here right here is for you so listen listen you're listening Okay, so from the beginning, when you're meeting a guy, it's the conversation from the beginning. You need to set pace with your words from the beginning. You need to do what? Set pace. You need to show this guy what level you're on by the words what come out of your mouth. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Because you can look pretty 
yeah hair could be done everything nails did stomach everything snatched but what comes out your mouth that will determine if a guy is gonna use you for some side chick or some concubine or some any girl or if he's gonna wife for you what comes out of your mouth from the beginning so when you meet a guy and this is even if you're at a club or if you're in church or if you're talking on a dating app or if you're um meeting somebody at the down the road this is the the first conversation what the guy is going to say what you need to say to him for him to take you seriously as a wife um allow the guy to come to you allow him to hunt you guys like to hunt they don't like to be hunted yeah so allow him to come and approach you and speak to you if he's not approached you and he's not speaking to you you going up there unless you're you're like you've been being wifey then you can handle yourself and yeah you can be brave and bold and go up there because you know what to say but because you're at the beginner level yeah this is first level step one from coming from side chick into wifey this is what like this is the class that this is foundation you get me okay to wait for him to come to you so if a guy comes up to you and he goes hi sexy or anything to do about your body and talking about sex yeah or like pretty girl or high beautiful or anything about your looks yeah like don't have it i know you're gonna think what do you mean like he's complimenting me but don't have it yeah he'll be like oh um red yeah what's going on girl with the red dress or girl blue hair girl or something like that if he's asking say he's calling you because of something what's on your body or because of your look like that's what's standing out to him and that's all he can think of about so if he said hey sexy girl he's just said to you yeah this is him not actually saying it to you but subconsciously saying it to you i would just want to have sex so first things first if he turns around and says hey um sexy girl this is what i would do so let's just pretend that someone's just called me hey sexy girl it's that that's that's what you need to do you know that face like then he's gonna be like i just complimented you he's gonna actually say that like what you can't take a compliment firstly if you came up to me and asked me what my name is i would have told you what my name is and i'm a young lady i'm not a sexy girl i'm not a girl yeah i'm not a red-haired girl or blue-haired girl i'm a young lady in future like ask me what my name is so now he thinks wrong wrong she knows who she is yes in one line me telling you don't call me that call me by my name or say to me excuse me young lady then we can talk do you get what i mean so he's thinking rah rah okay i have to come at this girl different you've already just said that to him you told him yeah you actually said that to him on that one liner that one liner the opening liner is don't mess with me that's what you just said to him just in that one liner don't mess with me yeah you know them ones when he's just trying to be slick and he's like <laughs> So now he's thinking in his head, bro, this girl's different. You hit me? She's not, she's not one of them hood girls. She's not like them any girls. Like she's, she's thinking different. Like maybe she's got a bit of knowledge about herself. Do you get what I mean? So he'll be like, oh, sorry. What's your name then? How guys want to act, talk. I can't do a man's voice. That's my man's voice. And allow me. <laughs> he'll be like, yes, what's your name then? Like, you say your name. They should usually say that's a nice name or something like that. Then you take over the conversation. So be like, so who are you? You know, you do like a little interview, like a short period interview, yeah? Five steps. Pa, pa, pa. You get me? So if now he's got to be on point to see how he's, you know? You get me? Like, he's going to be like, rah, she's coming at me different. I just wanted to be, but I can see that this... This is going to be a bit harder than that. You get me? Like, he's, you've already let him know. So you start running the question, say, 
so like be feminine about it don't be all aggressive about it just because i'm talking to you guys like this i'm just talking to you guys because this is this is my east london just flowing out of me you get me but when you're in front of the guy obviously you just be like like what you know you know you do all them head movements like okay but not too ghetto like you know you just do it like a little small like so it's just cute and elegant you know like how huh, what what like excuse me firstly i'm a young lady and what's your name he says his name you you say your name and be like so where are you from but don't say it like ends like just be like where are you from and be like oh i'm from whatever he says he's from but listen as well because obviously you gotta just like make sure that you're listening to make sure to show him that you're on point so when he tells you where he's from then you ask him where what does he what she, ugh, what does he do for work you tell he will probably tell you if he doesn't work and he says he's self-employed yeah you need to make sure that he understands what that self-employed means because you know when self guys say that self-employed they usually like drug dealers do you get me or fraudsters do you get what i mean and you ain't got time for them guys or club promoters club promoters fraudsters and um weed guys drug dealers if you want to be a proper wifey and stay a wifey for a very long time don't even waste your time with them guys i'm telling you i'm, I'm just telling you the truth girl so yeah so be ladylike do you get what I mean? Answer, ask him questions. Make sure that you're listening to what he's saying. So ask him about where does he work? What's his name? Or well, ask his name first. Does he have any kids? Make sure you put that in there. Ask them about the kid thing and say, do you have any women claiming or expecting your kids? Make sure that's the, 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 the fourth question after the third question when you're asking, does he have any kids? Because just because he hasn't got any child running around on earth now, don't mean there's not one in some female's belly cooking. So you need to make sure that you got that that question locked down. You get me? So there's no loopholes that he can turn around and be like, well, you never said no. I asked you everything. Then you ask him, okay, so like, what do you want to do with your business after? Are you trying to like get self-employed? Like, even if you if he's already self-employed, is it a thing where he's like got companies? Has he got an office? Is he like working with other merging companies? Like, what is his business? Is what is he selling? Like, go online and actually check him out because some guys could be chatting rubbish because they're just trying to beat. So if he turns around, and he says he'll work somewhere. Like, you can, you can find that out very good. And there's always ways to find out if you work somewhere. Do you get me? So, if he says he has his own business, you need to go and check that out before you even think about trying to get this guy to wife for you. Because you don't really want to get someone to wife you. What's a waste of time? And what's a... You see what's happening here? Right there? That's when you wash your hair the day before, take out your flat twist too quickly. And, yeah, it's looking a bit frizzy. Um yeah something was going to be bringing you down and giving you stress like that kind of hobby you don't want so yeah question number three so after now you've investigated him and you asked him the main questions let's just go over it once again his name what area he's from what does he work as how long has he been working there and also does he have any kids last but not least does he have any women claiming to have any kids for him or expecting to have kids for him make sure you ask some questions because a those are the main questions you need to know and also if he's living by himself if you're a person and you're not living by yourself then you can't really ask that question but if you are living by yourself and you have your own place and you've got your own everything is your own and you're just living and providing for yourself then yeah you need to be asking them questions because like you would i'm sure you want somebody to wife you who's on your level or past your level i don't know about you but if you're not with me or past me then you can't get with me i'm sorry Next, day, do not you listening do not have sex with him don't matter what he says you know when guys turn around and say yeah that they don't it doesn't matter and it, they don't see any difference they do see a difference and it does matter. It matters a lot. Do you know why it matters? Because 
he will take the vagina on the first day sorry he will take it he'll take the cookie on the first day and then he doesn't need to call you back again you've already given him everything he wants so he will only come when he feels like it because he's already he's already gold he's already scored the gold he's already enjoyed the middle on the first date no you don't do that one don't even kiss them on oh i put my hand in my mouth don't even kiss them on the first date no even kisses you give them hug yeah you know a little hug but no kisses no none of them mm -mm. not on the first date just be very cash very calm you know keep your back straight neck down you know just give give, give this angles you know just yeah just listen you can laugh you can be funny you know just keep it cool but none none of that touchy touchy having sex on the first date because it does matter so whatever they say don't listen to them listen to me listen to me keep your legs closed keep your legs closed and how long should you keep your legs closed because there's no point saying for me there's no point saying a month because you don't know how many times in that month you're going to see him i count by dates every time he's in front of your face and you see him that's that's that'll be like one date yeah okay like every time you sort of see each other so i would say about say about 12 12 13 times you know if you feel like after that about 12 13 encounters yeah that you've seen this guy that he's actually showed showed himself as a good guy and he's not doing any like funny weird stuff that you've chilled with him without having sex yeah without having sex they will respect you more i'm telling you yeah if he if he disappears and he weren't feeling you, he weren't feeling you and when he approached you he was just trying to beat you but if when you turn around and say no they respect you so much more okay so i would say about 13 encounters that i've actually seen this guy and chilled with him if i decide okay yeah you want to give up the cookie then cool babes but if you listen to what i'm saying by the sixth time he's seen you he's gonna want to wife you listen listen okay so you've already now um showed him who you are from the beginning you ran him like you um put a heat on him when you first met him about what he wants to do in life talk about what you want to do in life as well like your goals and stuff like that like make it clear that you have a whole life without him like you're not one of them girls that you always need a man to do things for you like you can make stuff move you can move mountains as well do you get what i mean so put yourself in that position as well that you can be moving mountains because no guy wants a girl who they have to babysit did you get what i mean no like someone who can't move who can't eat who can't travel who can't do anything without her man like no guy wants that they want a girl who can make movements make a few phone calls and money can just get do you get what i mean made like that's what a guy's looking for a bit of a boss lady but somebody who just knows what they're doing you know so talk about what you want to do in the future as well and ask him so what are you looking for he's not going to turn around and tell you that he wants to fuck you because guys they lie and they're spineless and if you turn around and say to him oh what are you looking for like he in his mind like he he just can't he's gonna feel so ashamed to say it he can't even open his mouth and my grandma always used to say to me if you can't tell me yeah the nonsense that you're gonna do then don't do it if it's too shameful to speak don't do it if it's too shameful to open your mouth and release the words then don't do it you get me so say to him yeah so what are you looking for Nine times out of ten, they're going to turn around and say, let's see how it goes. Yeah. Da, 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 da. And say to him, listen, I'm not one of them girls that you can just beat and then leave and try and do stuff like that. I don't beat guys who I'm not in a relationship with. If I'm not in a proper relationship with you, I'm not going to have sex with you. 
I only have sex with guys that I date. Now, in his mind, he's thinking, I'm going to have to wifey this chick just to be. But she actually, she's actually a cool girl though. I wouldn't really mind not mind wifey in her. Like, she seemed quite cool. Like, she makes her own money. She can cook. She can clean. Why not? Why not wifey her? Why not? Especially, like, she's not out there smashing other guys. She's only smash. She's not smashing anyone. Like, I'm spending money on her going out on these dates. Like, if it's, like I said, six dates, he's going to be filling his pocket. So... I might as well just wifey this girl, innit? And there, ladies and gentlemen, the next time he sees you, he's just going to turn around and say, yeah, he's going to be claiming it already. He's not even going to ask you because guys don't come out and say, oh, yeah, do you want to be my wifey? They're going to just want to be like trying to move to you. And then you're going to be like, stop, man. Like, you know, I don't sleep with guys who are not my, my hubby. But like, so what are we then? You see when a guy wants to fuck you, then he starts acting like a... Sorry. When a guy wants to sleep with you, he will start acting like the female in the relationship. So what have we been doing for so long then? What's all of this? And then you're like, we're hanging out. We're just chilling. <laughs> you get me? So it's like now he's begging you. You get me? He's begging you. You get me? But he's really begging because he wants to... But he still thinks you're a cool girl to wifey. So that's why he's having this conversation. He's into, he's even entertaining it. Before, I'm sure in your past life, you probably can't even bring up saying wifey. They'll just look at you and laugh. But now, like, you've put yourself in a situation where you've not been giving in. You've not been spreading out your legs. You've been talking like you have a, a brain in your head. You work. You're doing your own thing. You're not calling him. You're not running him down. He's hollering at you. He's looking for you. He's fold, picking up his phone and folding you. He's telling next girls to shut up because he wants to send a text to you. You get me? So, <coughs> hey. Okay, so now this is how you need to handle the situation. When he turns around and says, so what have we been doing then? You'll be like, sorry did you ask me to be your wifey like i've never remember a conversation where you said to me i'm your wifey then he's gonna say so do you want me to do you want to be my wife then do you want to do you want to do, do this then that's how he's gonna say i don't know drive it here i don't know so guys do, do, so, do, do you want to do it then do, do you want to be together then that's what he's gonna say and then you don't even say yes too quickly yeah take your time with it take your time you see the way when you're when them girls when you was phoning them them guys yeah and you was the side chick and they were taking the piss answering your phone your phone call treat him like that treat him like he's just you know them ugly stepchildren like you can't even hear them when they're talking that's why you should treat him be like what do you do, do, do you want to be together then what? You you so do you want us to be together? Then are we gonna do this or what? Are you asking me to be your girl? You know, just keep asking and keep going over it. Make him say it about like six or seven times just to take the piss. Be like, so I don't understand. Just keep saying I don't understand. Like, are you asking? Me? Like, I'm confused. Like, why? And then when he turns around and says, so do we do this or not? Be like, do you know? how to be a boyfriend do you know what it takes to be a man in a relationship with me say that to him you know the way it will hurt him ah oh, my chest i don't even know i'm doing that to myself the way it will hurt him he'll be like ah this girl you know the ones he was part of favor you slightly in his heart like oh she just she just asked me that yes do you know what it takes to be a man, not a boy, not, not a junior, not a small, small boy, a big man, an alpha male with me. Do you know what it takes to be in a relationship with me? You're black. What do you mean? So what does it take then? That's when you lay down your laws. That's when you lay down your laws. 
And if he's a cheeky bastard, sorry, my language, he will turn around and say, yeah, I do. Don't ask him. Tell me. Tell me. What does it take to be a man in a relationship with me? Tell me. Even he says his own, of course it's going to be nonsense. So just wait for him to say his own, his nonsense. Then you lay down your law. You lay down your list. One, you need to be loyal. I don't want to hear nothing outside about you. I don't want to see nothing outside about you. The same way you want me to respect myself and respect you when I go outside, that's the same way I, I expect you to act. Two, you see my level. You see the way I'm dressed. You see my nails are done, yeah? Now, if you're with me, I must not have minus in my life. My, my life should just be plus. Now that you're with me, there's two. So it should just be plus. So now I get my, my nails done every two weeks. Now I should get my nails done every week. Ah, if, if you are coming in my life, you must be adding something. If you're taking me away, I don't want you. And he'll be like, yeah, yeah, obviously, I can do that. Yeah, yeah, shh. Listen, you must be... You, you, uh -huh. you see when you're with me you can't be acting like this you have to be calm and listen and patient you know because yeah i like patient men and men who listen you know and if you want education then you want to take the piss tell him you can even send him to back to uni to go and do master's degree if he really 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 wants you you can send him anywhere. Send him back home to go and talk to his ancestors. He will really, really do it if he wants you. Then you tell him what you want. Everything you want. You want a man. Don't tell him and say you want a man to be spending on you. Remember the words will come out of your mouth. That's what really makes and breaks you. The beauty, everything. It doesn't matter. It doesn't mean nothing. If you don't have the right words coming out of your mouth to make the man listen to you. Because if you're saying nonsense out of this mouth, he's just going to turn off his ears. But when you're, when you're speaking life, his ears will be open. Do you get what I mean? So, you tell him your list. Yeah. And remember, use your words very carefully. So, if you want a man to spend on you, don't say spend. You say something to build and add. You get me? Uh-huh. If you want somebody to be romantic... And you, you so if you want someone to be just fucking you crazy and your girl you love a lot of sex, don't say that. Say you want romance. Ah, you love it. It's the packaging. You know the way you need to package yourself. The packaging. You need to package it nice so it looks. When he looks back at you, he just sees. Ah, yes. But if the packaging is not nice, then he'll just stash him. You know. So just make sure the way you package it is nice. So yeah and if you're a person that um you're not very um good with meeting people's parents turn around and say you you can't date mummy's boys yeah if you know that you're not good at parents talking to people's i can't date a mummy's boy guys who who are always running around after their mum's like go and marry your mother if that's the case he'll say ah i'm not like that i love my mom but i'm not like that aha uh -huh. so you've already stated what you want yeah from the beginning so now yeah you can sleep with him cool he's already wifeed you fine but now every day after that yeah you're showing him level when i mean level you're showing him new level because when he was just dating you, there's certain things you did not give him, like sex, yeah, and like cooking and, or maybe you cooked for him, but you wasn't, like, you was cleaning your own house, but you wasn't doing certain things for him. Now, when you're a girlfriend, now, yeah, you need to level up. I know. First, you gotta level up. Level up? What's that? Level It's level up. Level up. Oh, like level up. Yeah, you got it. Level up. Yeah, certain things. You need to level up. But if you want to know what you need to be doing when you're a girlfriend, how to level up to keep your man, then um, you need to go watch my other video. It will be coming next Sunday or the Sunday after that. Every Sunday, I'll be trying to drop a video like you. Yeah, just keep your eyes open. Put your notification on so you 
you will get i am keep rocking the chair keep the notifications on so you can keep seeing when i'm dropping my videos and you will be always on point with everything that's going on um i'm going to be putting my hair into braids i'm going to be dropping that video as well hopefully i'm going to get a new backdrop and everything and everything i'm like i'm here i'm here to stay guys i was sick i've been out for a bit but i'm back yeah i'm always going to be here i didn't even go nowhere i'm here again <laughs>